It's no surprise that Mike and I got into cooking when we were young and we didn't have a lot of money. We didn't even have a lot of time. A lot of it was cooking in college. A lot of it was cooking late night, drunk, high, tired, just want to whip some stuff up quick. So we have kind of become the masters of quick, cheap eating, I would say. Munchies, you could call it. Yeah, always have the munchies, always have something to make. So we've put together a list of our favorite quick, cheap, super easy recipes that you can whip up in no time, and we're gonna give it to you right now. One thing that was crucial in my cooking repertoire back in my college days was my pasta game. I always had some box of pasta lying around. That's Penne, forever. rigatoni, even spaghetti, whatever, whatever you have is great. But I would take it and I would boil the noodles first. Usually it's around 12 minutes to cook pasta through. So for half of the time, I would boil the noodles plain. Six minutes. I would cut up a few vegetables, whatever you had lying around in your fridge. Then the second 50% of the cooking time, the second six minutes, I would take those vegetables and I would throw them in with the pasta and they're gonna sort of blanch, cook through with the pasta and they're gonna be perfect when they come out. So all of a sudden, 12 minutes later, the pasta's done, you dump everything out into a strainer, now you have your cooked vegetables and your cooked pasta, perfect. You pour that back into the same pan you have and then add whatever sauce you have. I love Alfredo. I always had a can of that lying around. So I just add a few little tablespoons of the Alfredo, mix that around, make sure you cook the sauce into the noodle. That's very important. Cook it for another minute. It's gonna finish, everything's gonna come together and then you can plate it up. I like to sprinkle on a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese on the top. You can hit it with some fresh herbs. All of a sudden you've taken those leftover vegetables and that box of pasta that you weren't gonna even use and you turned it into a beautiful gourmet pasta dish that all your friends will enjoy. You may have heard of something called a Popeye. Sometimes they call it an egg in a basket. Well, I invented something called an egg in a tortilla, and this came because I had a lot of tortillas and a lot of eggs. They both last a long time, keep them in your fridge, and I wanted to do something creative with them. So all you do is you take a little corn tortilla, take it in half, give it a bite, and then you got your little circle in there. Then you throw it in a pan with some oil, and you start to fry up one side. Then you flip it over, you fry up the other side. You're getting this tortilla crispy. Once it's nice and crispy, crack an egg in the hole. Hit it with some salt, hit it with a little bit of pepper, you can hit it with some smoked paprika. Then you flip it over, nice and whoosh, sprinkle cheese all over it and then let it cook more on that side. The tortilla is gonna get crispy like a nacho chip. Take it off, hit it with some sauce, cut into it, eat, delicious. It's such a fast, like you can honestly make it in three minutes and you can make a bunch of them real easy. Delicious, perfect. Late night, just I'm not your chip, bitch. And your cheese. Every hungover Saturday, the first thing I would do is make a trip straight to my local campus, Cadoba. I would order the quesadilla and enjoy. That just sucked up everything. It seemed to be the perfect hungover food. But then something changed in my life. I realized how easy it was to make quesadillas at home. What I would do is I would just buy a whole thing of flour tortillas. They would last you for about two weeks in your fridge. I would cut up whatever fresh vegetables I had and cook them off. Loved using the Foreman grill. It was a great panini press. That's the great thing about that thing. It works as a goddamn panini press. But you can also cook vegetables right on there. After the vegetables were sauteed down, I would throw on my meat. Love using chicken, beef, whatever you got. Cook the meat up with your vegetables and then remove all that stuff. Remove it, get it out of there. Get your tortilla back on the foreman. Get it a little crispy. Add on all of your vegetables and your meats. 
Top it with cheese, of course. It's not a quesadilla without a whole lot of cheese. Shredded, shredded cheese. And then fold the tortilla right over. You make your quesadilla. Put the foreman down. Panini press the shit out of that thing. Make sure you cook it until it's crispy. It's gonna take about three to five minutes. You'll see the brownage. You'll see the melting cheese. You'll see the gloriousness. Take that thing out, chop it up, enjoy. You'll never go to Cadoba again. It's a sideways taco. It's a sideways taco. It's a sideways taco. <laughs> a lot of times when people are cooking leftovers, they think, oh, well this stuff, it's leftover. I'm just gonna throw it out. It's old, my bread's stale. That is not always the case. You can take bread that is rock hard and if you know how to reheat it, you can make it a whole new beast. Meatball Parmesan Panini is one of the greatest things that you will ever say and think of to eat. So you take the meatballs, you heat those guys up. I like to use the Foreman Grill. I use it since I was a little kid. It's easy, it's one setting, it's on, it's off. You don't have to worry about high, cold, medium, this and that. We're professional chefs and we still use the George. Yeah, it was honestly one of the first things I ever cooked on. You heat up those and meat the balls. You take your bread that's rock hard, you give that a cut. You put the fresh mozzarella cheese on the bread. You put the meatballs on top. The meatballs! You cover it in the sauce, and then you, sh you can just shred, or grate, or whatever you want to call it, or even sprinkle some sort of Parmesan cheese on top. Salt and pepper if you want. Put the top on. Put it back on your little foreman grill, and if you don't have a foreman grill, you can still do it in a pan, you weigh it down, you saute it on both sides. The point is when you heat that old stale bread up, you give it some life, it's going to be delicious and it's going to love you for the end of time. And by the time you reopen that again, you're going to have a delicious meatball parmesan. With crispy bread. Crispy bread That's that the important once part. was rock hard and now tastes like the best crispy, almost like garlic bread. Yeah, it you tastes know? like spaghetti and meatballs in sandwich form. That's all I can say. Spaghetti and the meatballs, that's very true. 